welcome to my channel, I'm Megan and I'm going to do a Q&A today. So the other day uh, on my Instagram I put ask me a question for my YouTube video. Today I'm just going to answer a few of them questions, so yeah. The first one is, what made you start a YouTube channel? Quite a few people ask me this actually, so I'd say I have... I have been wanting to do it for quite a while now, but I just never really had the guts. I feel like I'm not a very confident person, so I don't know if I come across as confident, but I'm really not at all. So like, yeah, I think what's been like holding me back as such is the fact that I'm not confident. So I, f I, no, I still don't feel confident about doing it right now, but hopefully as I do more videos, it will become better. <laughs> Yeah, also, I want to say that I think a part of me starting this YouTube channel is because most of my Instagram followers haven't actually heard my voice yet. I don't, re I don't do videos like of me talking on Instagram, so I think it's a good way of you not hearing my voice if you don't know me already and you haven't heard my voice. I just think it's always like a better thing to do. So question number two. What's been your favourite collaboration so far? So if people that know me will know that on my Instagram, I, you know, I am a fashion blogger, so I do get free clothes a lot on Instagram and I do get a lot of collaborations. I'd say my favourite collaboration is definitely Pretty Little Thing. I got that last week, I think it was. Honestly, I was buzzing, like, I was nearly in tears. I, I was literally just so happy that I got Pretty Little Thing collaboration. I feel like I've wanted it ever since, like, I took Instagram seriously. So it was like a dream come true. Yeah, I was really happy about that one. Number three, how did you grow on Instagram or how did you build your Instagram? These sort of questions I got a lot of when I put that thing on my story. I was thinking of doing an act, like a, a full video on just that alone about my Instagram, how I grew separately. So I was thinking if you guys think it would be a good idea, I will definitely do a separate video. So please just comment below on this video if you do want me to do a full video on how I grew my Instagram and stuff like that because I'll give you all the tips and everything you need to know. So yeah, I will not be answering that one in this video just in case you guys do want to see a separate video on that. Number four, what job do you aspire to have? Um, I think when I was younger I always wanted to be a teacher and ever since like, well forever I've really wanted to be a teacher but since like I've been to college and now I've just like I'm in year 12 now, I've kind of gone off the idea of wanting to be a teacher. I don't really know what I want to be. I mean, Instagram, like if my Instagram grew, I, that'd be amazing because I'd just love to do that. And if I earned enough, that'd be amazing. Um, so I'd love to do that. Like, I just love it. I can't really see me doing a 9 to 5 job. I just, I just don't think that's me at all. Like, I'd, just, I'd get so bored so easily. So yeah, that's just not me. So hopefully things work out. If I keep working hard, it will, hopefully. But yeah, maybe I, th I could still be a teacher if I work hard. Mm, I, I just not as, I'm not as motivated anymore and I'm not that interested in school work as much. I know I should be, but it's just not me. <laughs> Number five, any hobbies? I'd definitely say Instagram is a massive hobby. Like people might think, oh, that's just stupid. Like you can't have Instagram as a hobby, but I literally can't. Like, I want it all the time, and because it is kind of a job, but it kind of isn't at the same time, because I don't get paid for every post I do, and it's only, like, a few posts at the minute that I do get paid for, so I wouldn't class it as a job. But, yeah, I'd still say that's a hobby, because I do enjoy posting pictures for you guys, and I just enjoy, I just enjoy it, like, I do. <laughs> Number six, favourite clothes brand to shop? Definitely Pretty Little Thing. That's I think that's the only like proper clothing shop I I actually buy from. I, I know I've got a collab with them now, but before I was constantly buying stuff from them, and I I will continue to buy stuff from them even though I have got a collaboration with them because I just love their clothes. Number seven, how do you deal with negative comments? To be honest, I haven't I haven't I don't really have that many negative comments on my Instagram. Like, I think I've had one before that I've actually seen, and I think there was a, uh, a man or something, or a boy, on about my legs and how disgusting they are. Um, and obviously, when I saw it, it was a bit like... It, yeah, it made me a bit upset, but that's one comment, you know what I mean? I know that a lot, a lot of people have 
millions and millions of negative comments. So I, I, am, I feel lucky that I've only had one like that. But the best way to deal with it is I'd just say ignore it or delete the comment. Because if you delete the comment, you're never going to see it again. All right, you might stick in your mind and you might think, oh, I can still remember it. But if you delete it, you can't see it again. And yeah, just ignore it because, I mean, that person, I don't, I didn't even know him, so it is relevant to me. So yeah, I just ignore it. I know that I probably got, I've been in probably slagged off. I like, know that I probably got, I've been in probably slagged off like in loads of group chats before, and I've yeah, I've, I've probably got slagged off by people I know behind my back, but because they've never said it to me, it's not been, I've, I've not been, you know, bothered about it because. They've not said it to me, so I don't actually know what's been said about me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Is there anything in particular find difficult in regards to influencing? I'd say getting collaborations is quite hard sometimes because obviously I email a lot of brands and most of the time you don't get a reply from them. And then other times they'll say, oh sorry, we're not, we're not looking for collaborations. Which, you know, it's a bit, like, disheartening because I do spend a while, like, trying to find brands' emails and then trying to get to email them and stuff like that. It does take a while, so for them just to not reply or just say no, it is, like, a bit disheartening. But, at the same time, it makes me work harder on my content because, obviously, if they don't want my content right now, it means it's not good enough. So I do try and... I do change my theme quite a lot because I'm, like, trying to work out which is best. So, yeah. I'd definitely say that's quite hard. Um, yeah, that. Number nine is how do you stay in shape? Um, <laughs> I don't. I don't think I stay in shape. <laughs> like I don't. I, I don't really do any exercise, especially now we've been in lockdown. Like I do not. I have. I, I've hardly exercised at all. I stay in bed, eat chocolate, eat crap. Yeah, I do not. I, I'm not staying in shape at all. So it's nice to like hear that question because it, obviously that means that you guys think I'm staying in shape or whatever. But no. Ten favorite food definitely chicken. I mean, I have anyone that knows me, I have chicken on everything. Like every meal, I have chicken, and literally every meal I have chicken, other than pizza, I think. But even then, sometimes I have chicken on the pizza. So yeah. <laughs> Number 11 is biggest fear. So I'd say I've got quite a lot of fears. I feel like I'm fearful of anything that moves. Anything that moves, I am like scared of. <laughs> Spiders, 100%. I've actually got a story to say on that, actually, yeah. I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, I'd say another one is drowning, like tsunamis and stuff like that. I know we obviously, I don't get that from where I live, um, but it's still a fear. Like if I went on holiday and there's a tsunami, like, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, uh, drowning. Imagine like being underwater, not being able to breathe. You can't get back up. And like the f even like watching films of people drowning, with people drowning in, I just can't watch it. It's just so much. Like, oh, it's a massive, massive fear of mine. Oh yeah, back to the story of spiders. So <laughs> basically, I am literally so scared of spiders. Like I've I just scream when I see them. And I was sat in bed, and bear in mind, my wall's like here, next to me. And I just, I turn round one night, bear in mind, it's like three o'clock in the morning. I turn round, and it's just like a massive spider crawling up my wall. So I got one of them, I just got a cup and like some paper, and I slid it underneath. You know how you meant to. But because it was a wall like this, so it was like, like that. Um, I, I got the cup, and I just, I couldn't move from that. Like, it just froze. Because I thought, if I, if I move that, it's just going to go in it. It's going to run. So, <laughs> it just stayed there for ages. Like, ages. I just I just stayed with the cup and I was holding it for ages. And then, I, I just, I, yeah, it just stayed there for ages. I couldn't, like, move it. Oh, it was so scary. Number 12, your favourite colour. I don't think I actually have a favourite colour. I say blue right now, though. But, like, I don't. Like, some people are like, oh, mint green, that's my colour. Or, like, emerald blue, like, mm, no, I don't really have that. I like pink, purple, blue, all sorts, basically. Number 13 is favourite fake tan. I'd say skinny tan, 100%. I do get that gifted to me a lot, 
and I'd never actually heard of the skinny tan brand before I got it gifted to me. But then now I'd still buy it even if I got it gifted. I'd still go and buy it because I'd still think it's quite good. I'm not actually wearing any tan right now, but when I do wear it, it's really good. I like it. Number 14. What's one thing you want to make sure you do before you die? Like, that's quite deep, but I'd definitely say I want to go travelling. And I don't mean, like, go travelling as, as in, like, all at once. But I'd want to make memories and travel to different places. I think that's, like, what every, everyone wants to do that, don't they? Like, I think they do. Yeah, I, I think that'd just be a, a most amazing, like, memorable thing. Just go to as many places as possible and make memories. Uh, number 14. Oh, I've just done that. What Number 15. What is your job if you have one? This is the last question, by the way. So, what is your job if you have one? At the minute, because of lockdown, I do not have a job. Um, but in February, just before lockdown, that's when I got my first job. Bearing in mind I'm 17, but that was my first job. And I was a waitress. I still am a waitress, but because of lockdown, I'm not being a waitress right now. Um, so yeah, I'm not getting any money in right now. Quite sad. But other ways I do make money is from my Instagram. So off, like now and then I do get like paid collabs. So I am paying like getting money from that. And then I have Depop. So I'm getting some money from like people buying my clothes and stuff like that. So yeah, that's the end of my video guys, uh, please like, comment and subscribe and also if you do like have any suggestions of what other videos you'd like me to do then please comment below and if you like this video please tell me, <laughs> I'm quite scared about this one like because it's my first video it's like oh my god so hopefully you like it, yeah please subscribe. <laughs>